All right, the purpose of this video is to show you how the pick, pack, and ship flow works. So you'll see if I go to inventory, I now have uh, four to five in this example, but I have receipts, internal transfers, then I have a pick, pack, and ship operation, right? And I can always group them by type of operation, or I can, you know, this is a vendor receiver, this is all an internal flow, the pick and pack, and then I'd ship to my customer. So you can leave it like this if you want, however you want to look at your view. but. Bottom line is you'll see the sequence of how this works. I create a sale, and this is a new database. I'm just gonna make it out to any customer. I add a product, and I can define the unit of measure. We'll just, we're gonna do pallets for this product. Um, at this point, when the sale is confirmed, three transfers are created. And you'll see up here, it will list them. Now, the first step is the one down here, to move it from pick to pack. And we'll see that if I go to inventory, you'll see here, there's one to do here, right? It tells me I already have this product in stock, so I should go pick it. So the team comes in, they open their picking, right? And they can scan. At that point, you know, they can indicate, you actually, they do it right through here, right? They beep and it would update to one unit. If it was zero units and I tried to confirm, they'd say you have not in this case, actually, it would allow me still to process it, but let's just say I only have um, half of a pallet. In that case, it says you've processed less than what you should have. And I'll, in this case, I'll actually just process the, the full pallet. And that processes it. So at this point, someone took it and moved it to the destination of the packing zone. Now that it's in the packing zone, you'll see the team here sees that they have something to do because this product has arrived. You'll see it's not yet ready to process and ship because it's still waiting. And it's you'll see it's actually waiting in another operation, which is, as I mentioned before, waiting for the packing sequence to be completed. Same concept for this. They'll open up the picking. They'll see, okay, here's the pallet. And they'll move that to one, confirm, validate, and the minute that that happens, there it is. It went from waiting to ready to process and they would do the same thing here. And at any point in this workflow, if I, if I process less than what is expected, it's going to kick back this. You process less products, right? If I process more, oops, I keep clicking edit. It's gonna turn red can tell me you've processed more. Are you sure you want to do that? No. And then you're right, I can just go in and say one and validate. And that lets me ship without problem. So that's the pick pack ship flow. Um, essentially, it's part of routing, right? There's a pick pack ship workflow here, which defines everything, right? We're going to pull from stock to packing, pull from packing to output, pull from output to customers. And essentially, that's the breakdown of the uh, the logic. So, and you can build as many routes as you want, right? I can create new routes and build all sorts of customized workflows based on certain requirements. I could have a um, you know special package uh, route, and I could make it available on my product line, and I could add a bunch of rules, right? Um, step one, action. I'm going to pull from you know from my stock uh, from actually it would be I could do an operation here I could say it'll be an internal transfer type pull from stock destination could be you know something like you know packing zone take from stock or trigger another rule so I mean you could go on and on and on on how you build this but you'll see special package route when I activate it on the product I can now go to a product create it in an inventory special package route is now an option that I can select to send this product down uh, whenever I sell it, it would automatically send this product down the special package route. Uh, should I, you know, activate that I could also, you know, set it on the order line, for instance, with routes. So if I order specific routes, and I really like this feature, because it allows for, uh, for a lot of flexibility in your order management. So if I look at sales, create, John Doe, now I'll be able to say product Y and there's a route selection, right? I can say, uh, which route do you want to send this down? And in this case, I'd need to activate it on the order line 
in order for this to show, but um, if I go to my routes, oops, uh, special package route, you'd want to activate it here. And now when I go back to that order, you will see, tells me I don't have a stock, but special package route is now accessible here. Tell me I don't have enough in stock to ship that. But you get the idea. Um, so it allows for you to choose which route you send something down right from here. All right, so that's that. Um, if you have any other questions on how pick pack ship works, uh, feel free to let me know. But it's it's really important to know that the um, right the operations here are going to allow you to do everything that you could do with the original one I sent you. Delivery slips, print those from any you know, print out your picking from any of these workflows, from the pick, pack, or the ship. So that's that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.